right, Jay and Ivy set a Pistons rookie record with 34 consecutive uh, double-digit scoring game. Excuse me, games. Only rookie to do it. Um, you know, also he and Kay Cunningham. And then, uh, you know, special special category also for the Pistons. They only push the rookies with a thousand, I think a thousand assists. I mean, a thousand points. I think, uh, what, 300 rebounds, 250 assists, and 100 three pointers made. So, um, him quality, uh, company, him and Paolo Barancho, uh, Jalen Williams of the Thunder are also the only three rookies right now, uh, to have a thousand points, 200 assists, and 200 rebounds. So, uh, so yeah, he's having a hell of a rookie campaign, uh, especially improving shooting the ball. Uh, I think he's leading the Pistons in minutes this season. Uh, you know, improving shooting, and most of all, he pretty much growing despite Dwayne Casey. I was the head of the Dwayne Casey curve. Y'all got to remember, I told y'all he couldn't coach, and they should have brought in M.A. Udoka. Y'all ain't listen. Y'all ain't listen. They should have started over. With a new coach and not try to win with Blake Griffin and them. They just made a lot of bad decisions and choices made by Tom Gores. And I guess his 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 ear was Ed Stefanowski and what's the other guy that used to be like Lamarcus uh Aldridge's agent. Happy retirement to him finally. Who who got his ear Ernie something. But but yeah, it's always good when you setting records. You know, Kay Cunningham did some stuff that Michael Jordan ain't did and now it's just them meshing. You know, they had missed the whole season to mesh. And something wasn't right about K. You could tell uh, his skin was pale this season. He wasn't playing well. His 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 base for shooting wasn't well. And yeah, he had a stress fracture. So um, in his shin. So, but hopefully in the off season they get together a lot. They break down film a lot. They work out together a lot because their chemistry is gonna set the tone for on both ends of the, of the floor next year for what they need to do. But yeah, Ivy been everything he wanted to be. You know, that don't mean that Keegan, Men, uh, Keegan Murray won't be uh, better or Ben Matherin won't be better or Mark Williams won't be better or so-and-so won't get better. This don't mean Paolo going to be the best or Jalen Williams not going to be the best or will. It ain't how you start. People just remember how you finish. So, you know, whoever going to be able to work hard in the offseason can cover up their deficiencies. And for Ivy, you know, um, he showed he could run the show. I just really think his game should be more towards Dwayne Wade, getting the 10 to 15 feet, attacking the basket, getting to the line. I think he should be one of the mid-range guys and the guys that attack the rim and get to and get to the rim and get to the rack. Especially where, you know, he don't have to be the primary ball handler. I mean, it should be, you know, he should be at the line 10 times a night. You know? He should be very efficient from 10 to 15. That should be his game. And then occasionally, you know. Kind of how Rip did, kind of stretch it out to the three point line, but that should really be his game. Him getting downhill, getting to line, and that should be K Cunningham game. They should they should be getting to the rack, you know. K should be posting up, you know, not settling for three pointers. They really they really a team that should attack. I mean, you think about it, Boyanovich can attack, Ivy can attack, K can attack, Burke can attack. I mean, you got some great attack. Diallo can slash and attack. You know, um, Bagley can run the floor. Dern can run the floor. Wiseman can run the floor. They should be a team that, that should be running guys out the building. But, you know, Ivy's got to improve his ball handling. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, his jumper broke. I mean, him to make that amount of three-pointers and continue to improve, you know what I'm saying? It's going to look like that when you when you got a new shot. When you learn to shoot three, being forced to shoot threes. When he, he shouldn't even have to. He should be mastering a floater. He should be mastering the mid-range game. And that's how you learn to shoot. That's how you that's like how you learn to shoot the rock. You know, you start right up under the basket, you work on the form and you work on dropping the ball directly into the rack and into the without hitting the rim directly into the basket. You work right there and you work right in front of right front of the bat, right up under the basket, you work on that form. You know, then you take a step back, then you might go off the block, work off the block, then work on the bank. You don't start when you learn to shoot, you don't learn to start to shoot from the furthest from the furthest distance. No, you you learn to shoot close. You notice the cl the further you get, the more your form gets stretched and stretched and stretched. So, yeah, you gotta work. You gotta work on all that. But he he getting better. You know, that's the one guy I kind of keep my eye on. 
with the Pistons when I do watch. You know, you can tell he's getting better just that he got to learn to play with controlled pace. And that's something that Russell Westbrook never developed. Ivy got to learn to control his pace. You know, that's one of the reasons his ball handling suffer. It suffers because he, he playing faster. You know, he not playing with, with controlled pace. He not controlling. Yeah, he he not he not controlling. Once he learn to control his speed and, and, and harness his speed and do it in burst, he's going to be a lot better. But what he doing? He's been one of the top rookies all year, despite being held down by Killian Hayes. And that's what fucked up, excuse my language, Kay Cunningham's uh, rookie campaign was fighting with Killian Hayes. And they, and they still can't see that he a problem. If Ivy wouldn't wouldn't have to be forced to play with Killian Hayes, bro, he probably be, he might be rookie of the year, bro. You know, and they probably would have won even more games. To be honest, but he continued having to fight and struggle with Killian Hayes, just as Kay Cunningham did. He did this despite the Pistons holding him back and trying to force something that don't work. He don't work with Kay. He don't work with I. We seen enough. We seen enough. <laughs> we seen enough. So, but he did all this despite that. It went down my mind. Apollo was the best best guy in the drive, but we'll see. Ivy got to continue to get better defensively, ball ball handling defensively. You got to get a coach that's going to bring the most up out of him. That's what I think. Who going to allow him to attack and them get out and run. And then when they get into a rhythm, you know, then you start shooting the threes. But, they, you know, them getting, they should easily get to the rack today. With a, with a, they should easy. I wouldn't even be opposed to Mike D'Antoni coaching this team. But one thing that scared me about him in the playoffs, he can't make no adjustments. And then defensively, it's kind of like they fall off. So, you know, Mike Brown's has done a great job out there in Sacramento. Um, you know, I might get somebody like Jerry Stackhouse, who's doing a phenomenal job. He's voted SEC uh, Coach of the Year. Might get somebody like Jerry Stackhouse, bro. That might be the move. <laughs> that might be the move. Somebody young, innovative, you know. But, uh, you know, shout out to Mike Brown. He's probably the coach of the year this year. You know, he's on that biggest difference with them. He's going to make them defend. <laughs> they could score in Sacramento. They ain't never been a problem. They couldn't fucking stop nobody. You know, now they stopping people. They being held accountable defensively. You know, that's why Memphis is so good. They jail so good defensively. They willing, they will bang willing to defend, Ja willing to defend, Brooke willing to defend, uh Jaron Jackson Jr., Michigan State fans doing well. He willing to defend. Steven Adams, you know he willing to defend. That's the key. Offensively, it's gonna it's gonna come. They gotta be willing to defend. But uh shout out to Jay Nivey, man. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Memo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.